Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this blister pack in 3D using Photoshop and then we can bring it into Adobe Dimension. It's always good to find as many references as needed to see the dimensions and the shapes of the packaging you're creating. First let's get the rounded rectangle tool and trace the clear plastic object. U is a shortcut for toggling through the shift U to get to the rounded rectangle. You can see if you have your 3D workspace open, here in the properties we can change the radius. Let's go ahead and holding down Option, Shift, create a copy. Now selecting both layers, Option, Shift again. Now we need to select all of our layers and right click on the layer, choose Merge Shapes. I'm going to create a working copy of this by dragging it to the plus sign or Command J is the shortcut. With your top layer selected, go to the 3D tab, 3D Extrusion, Create. Go ahead and reduce the extrusion depth if you look at this secondary window from the top view. Here in the Properties tab, go to the cap, which is the third icon, with the inflation angle all the way to 90. We're going to increase the strength. Next, go to the rounded rectangle again. If we reduce the opacity, we can look at the reference image and adjust our border radius. I'm also going to change the color so we can differentiate between the capsules and the foil shapes. With the foil shape selected, go to the 3D tab, create another 3D extrusion, and reduce the extrusion depth to something very small. If you right click on your rulers, or if you don't see rulers, Command R will toggle your rulers and you can select which dimensions you're working in. If you'd like, you can create your capsule object in here or Adobe Dimension does come with the capsule. Select both 3D layers. Go to 3D, Merge 3D Layers. And we're off canvas now. So let's get these objects moved into the frame. To move and scale both objects together, we need to group both of these layers. So select both layers and you can do Command G to group them. And with the Move tool, V, you can select both layers, tap B, and align these to center them. We do want the foil to be at the very top.
You can hide the reference layers if you'd like now. You may have exact dimensions for the outer box, which you can resize with your properties. I'm going to draw a rectangle. And here in the properties, you can see that we can adjust those to exact dimensions. If we go to 3D, 3D extrusion, create. You can merge these objects again. 3D, merge 3D layers. and move the box into the group. Another way to create the box if you want a little bit of depth to it and your layers we can create a rectangle and I'm going to add a stroke this time 3d extrusion create and this time if I go to coordinates I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees on the x-axis and we can go back to the mesh and increase the extrusion depth and layers we can select both 3D layers and merge 3D layers So now you have a couple of options. You need to adjust the depth of this box. If you go back to the mesh with that box selected, edit source, and we can reduce the stroke width, save that layer. This is looking good now, so let's go ahead and with the group selected, go to 3D, Export 3D Layer, choose OBJ. Next, we can open up Dimension, drag and drop our OBJ. I do want to note that you can delete all of these other layers that are exported. Just make sure you don't delete anything that you need, but these are all materials that get exported with the OBJ. drag and drop the OBJ, tap F on the keyboard to bring it into frame. If you tap 1 on the keyboard you can orbit and as you'll see both boxes were saved out so I'm going to hide the solid box. I'm going to arrange this a little bit better for presentation by rotating R for rotate V allow us to move again if I select just the box you can uncover the capsules And now we're ready to start adding textures and materials. 
going to add glass to the caps. A mat to the box. You can drag the material to the object or to the layer. For the foil, I was playing around with this. There are a few options. Kind of depends on what pattern and look you're going for. I did find quite a few options with this laser cut. So if you double click into the foil, you can increase the repeating pattern. And change the color to more of a gray or silver. Reduce the intensity of the burn. You can also change the texture geometry or the pattern here. I didn't see that option within one of the metallics, but if you dig around, you might find it. If you go to the model library and scroll down, you'll find the capsule I was referencing. And you'll want to orbit around the objects to see that they look to be inside. For adding decals to this box, you can use the magic wand to select each of the sides independently. You can see if I orbit around, I just have one side selected now, and that's with this magic wand. So if you click on a material or add a decal, you can add each side directly and independently. After spending some time choosing a design and style direction, I tweaked a bit of the textures such as the foil. I ended up using the geometric metal texture and changing that to a silver. This was one of the first test renders with the laser cut texture on the foil. And then I spent a little bit more time setting up a scene Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or are trying to figure out how to create some kind of 3D object. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.